Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about integral cycle control method of AC voltage controller. Okay. So, in this, we are having the we are using the two thyristors T1 and T2. These two thyristors are connected in anti-parallel. Okay, Vs is the supply voltage which is equal to Vm into sine of omega t. So Vs is equal to Vm into sine of omega t. Okay, so from omega t is equal to 0 to pi. 0 to pi means this system. Vs is positive. Pi to 2 pi, it is a negative. Again, it is a positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so this is the Vs we are having. Okay, so Vs we are having this waveform. Okay, here we have considered the load is the resistive. Voltage across load is V0. Okay. So in the integral cycle control, so what we are doing is first of all, first thing is we are keeping alpha equal to 0 degree for thyristors T1 and T2. For both the thyristors, we are keeping alpha equal to 0 degree. Okay. So here at omega t is equal to 0, thyristor T1 is turned on. At pi, T2 is turned on. At 2 pi, T1 turns on. At 2, 3 pi, T2 turns on. Similarly, at here at this instant, that is at 4 pi. T1, T2, T1 and T2. Okay. So like this, thyristors will be turning on. Right. So important thing is we are going to keep alpha equal to 0. Okay. So if we keep alpha equal to 0, right, then what will happen? Yes, once thyristor T1 turns on, then yes, output voltage will be same as that of the supply voltage. Okay. So next, when T1 conducts, at that time V0 will be same as that of the supply voltage. Okay. After that, from pi to 2 pi, yes, supply voltage is negative. Supply voltage negative means what? It is like minus here and plus here. So thyristor T2 will be in the on state at that time T1 will be in the off state. Okay. So next. So here, yes, in the output we will be getting the full cycle, right? Full positive cycle, full negative cycle. Okay. And what we are doing is we are first of all passing the n number of cycles. It is n n is the number of on cycles. Okay. Means for first n cycles, right? We are triggering the thyristors T1 and T2 with alpha equal to 0. Okay, next for next M cycles. Okay, after passing the first N cycles, next for the next M cycles, right? We are not turning on thyristors T1 and T2, means we are not going to apply the gate signals to thyristors T1 and T2 for the next M cycles. Okay, after that again, we are going to pass the next N cycles. After that again, we are going to block the next M cycles. Okay, so in order to Pass the cycles. Yes, we need to turn on the thyristors T1, T2 with alpha equal to 0 degree. Okay. And in order to block the cycles, we need not to apply the gate signal to the thyristors. Okay. So if you check, if we vary the M and N, if we vary the number of pass, pass cycles and number of block cycles or the number of on cycles and number of off cycles, then can we vary the output voltage? Yes, we can vary the output voltage. Okay. So this is the simple method, right? which is used in the integral cycle control, right? Integral cycle means what? We are controlling the cycles, right? Together, okay? So we are passing first N cycles. After that, we are blocking next M cycles, okay? So how to pass the N cycles? Means we need to turn on the thyristors T1, T2 at alpha equal to zero, okay? And next, we are going, we, we, next for next M cycles, we are not going to apply get signals to any of the thyristor, okay? So in this way, we will be getting the waveform, okay? Now, we are going to derive the expression for V0 RMS. Okay. V0 RMS. So if you check V0 RMS, RMS value of output voltage, right? So here we are having whatever the waveform of V0 for first N plus M cycles. Okay. The same is repeating for next M plus N cycles. Okay. So out of the M plus N cycles, yes, for the first N cycles, it is a non zero. Okay. So we can write it as V0 RMS is equal to. Yes, V0 RMS is equal to N upon M plus N. Okay, so it is a N upon M plus N. Okay, into integration from yes, 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 pi, it is a Vm square into sin square of omega t into d omega t, right? To the power 1 by 2. To the power 1 by 2, right? Next, further we can simplify it as yes, it is like or into this is the 1 by 2 pi we need to write because we need to take the average of the one cycle and multiply that with the average of square of 
instantaneous values over the first cycle and we need to multiply it with the n okay so it is a 1 by 2 pi we need to write okay so next now yes we can simplify it as like can we take vm square upon vm square into 1 by 2 pi into n upon m plus n outside yes so it is a like uh, under root n upon m plus n okay right into it is like 1 by 2 pi okay and into vm okay so this is the one term into vm be careful this vm is outside the integration okay next we can write it as integration from 0 to 2 pi yes sine square of omega t can be replaced with 1 minus cos of 2 omega t divided by 2 into d omega t to the power 1 by 2 okay so further we can write it as is equal to yes this can be written as is equal to under root n upon m plus n okay into 1 by 2 pi this is the one term into vm by can we take this 2 outside so it is a into root 2 vm by root 2 into yes it is like a omega t right minus sine of 2 omega t divided by 2 right limit 0 to 2 pi the power 1 by 2 okay so further we can simplify it as is equal to under root n upon m plus n okay into yes vm upon 2 root pi we can write it as vm upon 2 root pi i am taking this root 2 and this root 2 as a 2 okay into vm upon 2 root pi right into yes this can be written as 2 pi minus sine of 4 pi is 0 right so sine of 2 into 0 is 0 okay so minus 0 to the power 1 by 2 okay so this can be written as yes root 2 pi okay and this root pi will get cancelled this root pi this root pi will get cancelled and this is a root 2 and here it is a 2 so out of that one root 2 will get cancelled okay so it is like under root n upon m plus n so number of on cycles right into number of total cycles that is on plus off right into vm by root 2 again what is the vm by root 2 if you check vm by root 2 is nothing but yes if you check vm by root 2 is nothing but the rms value of the supply voltage okay so we can write it as under root n upon m plus n okay into it is a vs into vs because rms value of the supply voltage is a vs okay so this is a v0 rms which can be written as therefore this can be written as v0 rms is equal to root k into vs where k is equal to where k is equal to yes n upon m plus n n upon m plus n. okay so this is about v0 rms we are having okay next what is i0 rms it is a v0 rms upon r right i0 rms is equal to yes v0 rms upon r so rms right so this is a i0 rms next what is the input power factor input power factor is equal to what load power that is a v0 rms into i0 rms divided by vs into is vs into is but if you check the circuit operation is rms and supply rms current and load rms current both will be same okay so it is like v0 rms divided by vs but what is v0 rms it is a root k into vs divided by vs so vs vs will get cancelled right so therefore input power factor is equal to root k only okay so input power factor is equal to root k, okay so therefore we can write it as input power factor is equal to root k equal to root k. is this clear this is the input power factor we are having okay which is equal to root k right so this is about the integral cycle control right of ac voltage control in the next video we are going to discuss about the numericals related to the ac voltage controller thank you